Hello again everyone. In this video tutorial we are going to solve this given rational equation. And by the way, uh, when we are talking about the rational equations, that means we are just dealing with the fractions as you can see over here. And once again, these are this this equation is also called proportion. Proportion is nothing more than just the fractions, two fractions and an equal sign between them. Let's go ahead and solve this rational equation now. And we will use the cross multiplication method. That means I'm going to cross multiply this way, crisscross and the multiplication the other way around. Let's go ahead and multiply this x square minus 3 times this 7. I'm going to go ahead and multiply this one first. So I'm going to write down 7 times x square minus 3 equals to now I am going to multiply this 2 times this x square plus 2x minus 5. So this is simply I can write 2 times x square plus 2x minus 5. That's the very first step. Next step is I want you to distribute, multiply. So this is going to be simply 7x square minus 21 equals to likewise. We're going to be distributing, multiplying on this side as well. So this is going to be a 2x square plus 4x minus 10. So the next thing what we're going to do is we want to solve for x. So the very first thing is I want you to move all these these terms to the left hand side. Okay, that's the easiest way we can do. So this is 7x square minus 21 is already here. When you move this positive 2x square on the left hand side becomes negative 2x square this positive 4x become negative 4x and this negative 10 become positive 10 and we simply have a 0 on the right hand side. Let's simplify these like terms. 7x square minus 2x square is going to give you 5x square negative 21 neg negative 4x you put down negative 4 x and finally negative 21 plus 10 is going to be negative 11 equals to 0. And now we are going to solve this quadratic equation by using this quadratic formula where our a is positive 5, b is negative 4 and c is negative 11. So now we are going to solve for x by just substituting these a, b, c values in this formula. So we can write as x equal to minus and then b is negative 4 plus minus b square means negative 4 square negative 4 times a is 5 c is negative 11 everything is divided by 2 times 5. Let's go ahead and simplify this thing so we know negative and negative become positive 4 plus r minus negative 4 square is simply 16 and that's gonna give you when you multiply that's gonna give you plus 220 all right, divided by simply 10. Let's simplify further. So this is going to become 4 plus r minus 236 divided by 10. Now, the next step is I want you to look at this radical. I'm going to write it over here. 236 could be written as, could be factored out 4 times 59, isn't it? Let's break it down, this one. I can split 
them as 4 times the square root of 59 and we know that the square root of 4 is simply 2 times square root of 59. So that means this square root of 236 could be written as simply positive and negative 2 times square root of 59 and I can split this 10 like this way 10 over here as a fraction and 10 as a fraction thus x turns out to be if you reduce this fraction this simply become 2 fifth plus minus and over here 2 and 10 could be written as 1 fifth so you can write square root of 59 divided by 5. So thus our solution set turns out to be 2 fifth plus square root of 59 divided by 5. First I used uh, this split it up with a positive sign and then I split with a negative sign over here as you can see this positive and negative and that is our answer. Thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos.